Hey guys, Lay Boy Scout here. Thanks to my friends at Gear Buyer's Guide and Gun Websites, I get to take a look at and show you the SOG Pocket Power Plier. This is a tool that I've been pretty interested in. In fact, uh, my friend uh, SnowLobo95 and I went to a gun show recently where I got to have a look at one of these. And I connected with it instantly, mostly because of this very sharp needle nose point tip. That's something that I was really interested in. I can see some great utility from a tip like that. And also just a very interesting design from SOG. So I was very interested to spend a little more time getting a look at this. So big thanks to Gear Buyer's Guide Gun Websites for their awesome donation project in which these tools will be, um, well, a handful of things that I've been reviewing, will be auctioned off and the proceeds will all be donated to the Wounded Warriors Project. Man, it's just very, very cool that they're doing that. And uh, I'm very excited about it and very pleased to be a part of it because I get to check this stuff out, man, and show it to you guys right on. Uh, well, let's get the sheath out of the way real quick. Nice enough nylon sheath with a plastic clip on the back. You know, I tried this out and carried it on my belt for a little while, and it feels nice enough. It does. It's not bad. I kind of do like the fact that it clips on. You know, that feels like it's going to stay in place pretty well. And, uh, however, it uh, clips back off very easily. Sort of like the, uh, the Leatherman sheath for the Juice series. However, this slips off a little too easily, and I'm kind of scared to lose it. So, uh, I'll give it to Song on that, on that, uh, on that point. However, there's also, you know, other Leatherman sheaths, like the one that the Wave is in here. Uh, it doesn't clip on at all. You're just going to have to thread that through your belt and, you know, get what you get. Um, yeah, done with the sheath, onto the tool. So what have we got here? Let's talk about the size and weight. It's about five and a half ounces, which is nearly identical to the Juice KF4, also coming in at about five and a half ounces. I'll bring this back in for some other comparisons, but let's continue with size and weight. Uh, let's get to the size. You're looking at about four inches, about four inches this way. About one and an eighth at the widest point, maybe one and a quarter at the widest point. Okay, and about uh, less than, well, including the nuts down there, around half an inch at the widest point. Something like that. Not bad. Not bad. They call it the pocket power plier. But I wouldn't stick it in my pocket just like this, simply due to the fact that there's not really a lot of retention here. You know, it kind of just sort of falls open. You know, whereas with a tool like the Leatherman Juice, okay, there's no sort of falling open. All that spring retention keeps it uh, pretty much in one tight little package. But there's a, there's a few things that I like about this as well. Again, I already talked about the needle nose pliers. Really dig those. Very, very cool. Let's go, get on to some of the other features here. Uh, I think these are kind of cool here. These little cutouts. I'm not sure what they're for, just to lighten it up, I suppose. But they look cool, man. I dig that. It's very good looking. Sort of these staggered holes. Kind of a great feeling. I like it. It's very cool. Also, a very interesting design, whereas these gears sort of turn and open those pliers, which gives you the sense that it sort of multiplies the power as you're squeezing this. It should sort of multiply the amount of force that you're giving these pliers and transfer that to whatever you're cutting or gripping or pinching or whatever. I imagine that would be a bit harder on that material than say something like this where it's just moving as it's attached, right? And you know, it doesn't come apart in the same way. Uh, you know, there's there are up and down ups and downs to the two different designs, mostly just kind of what do you like better? So, back to the SOG. A good plier here, a good needle nose plier here. Uh, good wire cutter, it looks like. Um, let's get into some of the inside tools. What we have here is a nice file plus a flathead screwdriver. No locking retention. No locking retention, but a fairly good spring retention. I'll point out uh, that that's a similarity that it has with the uh, Juice series, which does not lock. None of these tools lock in place, but they've got a good spring retention to them, which makes them very usable and quite safe in my feeling. Um, 
I feel like they stay in place very, very well. And so far, I'm getting that sense about the SOG as well. Let's move on to the nice little uh, bottle opener slash screwdriver, another flathead screwdriver, and also the um, Phillips head screwdriver. I like that it's flat there and then goes full. That's cool as compared with the mostly just full, slightly flatter, but mostly just full on the Leatherman Juice. I think it's a cool design. I like it. What I don't like, I'm giving you the hits and misses as I see them, as I find them, as I get to them. <laughs> what I don't like is the ergonomics in this position. Seems good enough, right? Seems good enough. Oh, really? Oh, really? Where is that going to end up? Right here in the palm of my hand. Yeah, that doesn't feel very nice. Sorry, but it doesn't. Doesn't feel very nice. Let's compare that again. Going back and forth. Don't hope you don't mind, guys. I'm not trying to make one look better than the other, but you know we got to go back and forth. Uh, compared to this one, there's no problem ergonomically. There's no ergonomic problem whatsoever. I think it's fine. Okay, well, that's a hit against the SOG, but let's keep going. Let's keep trucking. Let's talk about this tool. It's, it's still a decent tool here. And again, I, I mentioned before that I connected instantly with this tool and was pretty interested in it. Uh, that's the awl or punch, and that thing is a beast. But let's get this out first. This is sort of the traditional Swiss Army Knife style can opener, and it looks quite effective. Good and sharp there at the, uh, the tip. A uh, small little precision screwdriver here. I, I think this can opener is a win. Is a win. The, uh, this particular juice, the KF4, does not have any can opener on it. The S2 juice does have one, and I, I think that this one wins over the S2 juice's uh, uh, can opener. Let's talk about the Wave for just a second, which uh, has a can opener on it as well. And, uh, you know, it's a pretty decent one, though. It's, this is a decent design. I like that design just fine. It's effective. It's durable. However, I think that the sort of traditional Swiss Army knife design on the sock is a bit more effective, possibly faster. I've used this kind of thing before, and I like it. On to, boy, that's a good spring retention right there. That's hard to push back in. That punch, man, that is deadly. Nice and sharp. Nice and sharp everywhere. I'm going to say that you're going to punch some holes through leather very, very quickly and easily. You know what? I've got some leather right here. What do you think? Can we do it? Let's give it a go. You're seeing it, dudes. You're seeing it on camera. Let's see if I can punch through this leather. I'm twisting. I'm turning. I'm going for it. I'm making any progress? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're there. And oh, hello. And there we are. And this is no thin piece of leather. It's not. Look at that. That's a thick piece of leather. It's good to test that out. And there you got a new hole in your belt. That's all it takes. Cool. That's a nice little punch there. But that's not all we got. Be careful because it's sharp. It's not all we got. We also got a nice little knife on here. A full hollow ground blade all the way from the spine, hollow ground down. That is to say, hollow ground to the terminating edge and then chisel ground at that point. Chisel ground combo edge blade which I think a combo edge blade on a tool like this is just fine. You know, if you're going to have just one blade, combo edge is probably the best of both worlds. So it's probably a good idea. Again, there are also um, a ruler on the outside here with uh, inches and centimeters there. And nothing on this side. Except for, I think, some SOG markings, yeah. Cool. 
So, um, yeah, guys, I think this is a pretty cool tool. Now that I've checked it out, I probably won't buy it. I'm kind of satisfied. Uh, I think that SOG has made something pretty interesting here. And at a price point around $40, it's not too bad. You could do much worse. You could do much worse. And if you're able to find this for even less than that, this could very well be the only multi-tool multi -tool that you need for daily carry and uh, a number of other tasks. Let's do a quick size comparison. There's the juice. There's the SOG. And let's get the wave down here. I can close that up. There's the Leatherman wave. About height-wise, it's about the same as the wave. Considerably thinner, a fair bit thinner, and lighter at 5.5 ounces. Well, I can't knock it too much. It is an interesting tool. If you like it, go check it out. This again is the SOG Pocket Plier. Worth a look. I'm the late Boy Scout. We'll see you all later.